just snuck into John Pino's fridge here to gather some fresh mint and coriander for my tacos. I'm sure he won't mind. Everyone loves a taco, and for me, it's such an easy, wholesome, and fresh dinner. So I've got some salmon, lots of herbs, also my taco shells, limes, bit of onion, obviously avocado for guacamole, because no taco is complete without some guac. And then we've got some cucumbers, and we're gonna make a beautiful little smoked mayonnaise to go with this dish. Now, I'm gonna do some little salmon skewers. Now, by all means, you can keep the skin on, grill it whole, get that really nice crispy skin, like the salmon, but I'm gonna take the skin off today. Now, you can keep this and crisp it as a good garnish if you like, but I'm not gonna use it. Now I'm just gonna dice this salmon. So we'll start with the thinner end, just so we get the same kind of size. And then cutting into beautiful little dices. All right, now a quick marinade. I'm just gonna do it straight onto this plate. So some lime zest. You don't have to marinate the fish if you don't want. We're going to add so much flavour into this dish anyway. So lime zest, a good pinch of sea salt, some very good quality extra virgin olive oil. And while we're doing that, we'll pop a little bit on our griddle pan as well, just so we avoid any sticking. And then I'm going to go in with a little pinch of smoked paprika. Now you can leave this out, but I just love the smokiness that you get, and it's just like instant flavor with smoked paprika. Now that for me already, there's so much flavor and we've added three ingredients to it. So we're gonna start by skewering these and add as little or as many as you like onto these skewers. But for me, it's just about have the tacos in the middle of the table at family dinner, the guacamole, the smoked mayonnaise, a tray of these gorgeous skewers and let everyone assemble their own tacos. Now we're gonna go straight onto the sizzling hot griddle until our salmon is cooked and we can get cracking onto the guacamole. Everyone knows how to make smashed avo. I don't really need to share how to make this recipe with you. It's very simple. <laughs> now this is an excellent little hack to have up your sleeves. Some people will have smoking guns and add lots of different little things into a smoked mayonnaise. But for me, I'm all about quick and simple. Lots of cupy goodness. And then our delicious smoked paprika. An instant smoky flavor straight in. A good pinch of salt as well. Give that a good mix and you're getting instant flavor, but also a beautiful rosy pink color that's gonna complement that salmon as well. All right, so next we're just gonna cut some cucumbers as well, just for freshness. Why not? Some cute little cukes. And then all we're gonna do is this top and tail, and then cut them into quarters, and then just go a quick little dice. You can make a little salsa if you like, but for me, this is simple and easy. So, you're gonna grab your tortilla, now you can just pop these straight in the middle of the table, but I reckon I'm gonna plate these up. A good smear of that smoked mayonnaise, a good amount of guacamole because don't be shy with the guacamole. A beautiful salmon skewer, some cucumber, and then straight onto the plate. John doesn't know it yet, but these herbs are from him. So I hope you're watching John and thanks for the herbs. Now we're just gonna go some fresh coriander, some beautiful little mint leaves as well, just to make it look pretty. And of course, taste even better. I love my coriander, so 
let's go lots of. And for me, a fish taco needs lime wedges on the side. So we'll just cut this in half, create a few little wedges of lime. And that, for me, is an absolute family winner. It is quick, cheap, delicious, and very healthy.